Namaskar, I am Dinesh Kevora. You all people are welcome on Daily Spice. Daily Spice is a channel from the News Time. We are presenting a series on Bangladesh and English version programs are given on Daily Spice channel. Lot of people have subscribed this channel and we will request more people to come forward and subscribe it, encourage it, motivate it, inspire it. Just two or three days back, it was 25th of March. 25th of March 1971. No Bangla citizen should forget and they won't forget the night when Pakistani army tortured the Bangladesh, killed thousands and lakhs of people, butchered them, raped the girls. It was a genocide and mass killing by Pakistani army to suppress the essence of Bangladesh under the operation searchlight it is one of the or rather it was one of the worst genocide or mass killing in the history of humankind masood bin momen united nations permanent representative of bangladesh had spoken yesterday to a gathering in new york and reminded the people that bangladesh has gone through some of the worst times and pakistan had left no stone unturned to torture its people and exploit them and that was the epitome, that was the extreme, that was something unseen, unheard, that in 1971, around that time, that the genocide of mass killing took place by the so-called Pakistan, who proclaimed that they are civilized country and democratic country. No democratic country in this world can ever do or undertake such kind of genocide or mass killing. Such kind of genocide or mass killing on their own people that's the worst example and since then Bangladesh later on got independence when India intervened and along with the Mukti Bahini Bangladesh got independent country but what was left behind by Pakistan was a ravaged country devastated and destroyed country they destroyed everything there but they could not destroy the Pakistan could not destroy the essence and the soul of Bangla people and this soul made them come out from the ashes resurrect themselves and come back come back with the bank what Pakistan could not achieve in 71 years Bangladesh has achieved in 48 years so that's you can say my salute to them for their determination and attitude resolve and self-belief this 25th March night genocide which is basically operation searchlight it is one of the worst thing in the history of Bangladesh Dhaka had become the valley of death in one single night and then uh, intellectuals professors teachers students minorities police paramilitary personals they all were killed there it was a rampage it was, you can say, heartless thing. It was all bloodshed all over. Now, Mr. Masood bin Momen, UN Permanent Representative, has asked that this genocide of 25th March 1971 should be noted and accepted by United Nations as one of the worst genocides, mass killings in the human history. And they deserve so. Mr. Momen, is right in that way. We also support that. That the country which can undertake an operation to kill the people of their own country, at that time it was Pakistan only. There can't be a worse example than this one. But United Nations still has its long pending demand for Bangladesh that, and they should accept, accept that this was the mass killing or genocide of the worst kind in the human history. These all atrocities are well documented. I think some of the cases are still going on and I personally believe that Bangladesh deserves it, that United Nations must recognize this genocide of 25th March 1971. So my dear Bangla people, never forget this night because this night has given you resolve, this night given you a vision, this night has given you a kind of self-belief that you can come up and beat the forces who want to destroy you. No force on the earth can destroy your essence or your soul. You are maker of your own destiny. I said yesterday also. 
So this demand is valid, legal and absolutely genuine one. So just a reminder today, just two or three days back, you can see 25th March was there. It was a day to remember. It should never be forgotten by you ever, nor the new generations also. In this issue, only this much. In the next issue, we will be discussing some other things. Until then, it's a goodbye from the Daily Spice and Dinesh Kivura. Thank you very much.